Listen, people think that what goes in your ear gate don't matter. It matters what goes in your ear gates. What you listen to is important because it's entering your ear gates. It's entering into your spirit. Music plays a lot when it comes to what you listen to. The lyrics. You hear a lot of people say, well, I'm just listening to the beat. Even though you're telling yourself, I'm just listening to the beat. The lyrics are still entering into your spirit. You're still listening to those lyrics. You're listening to those lyrics. It does matter what you listen to. It does matter what type of music is going in your spirit, entering into your ear gates. You listen to music like, I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. You listen to a lot of music. You're single. You're listening to things like that. A lot of this music is perverted. It's sexual. It's sensual. You have to listen to the music that is being presented to our youth. Songs with curse words in it and blunt uh, genital areas, you know, beginning with P and then in Y. Beginning with D and then K, very explicit, very provocative words being sung out in music, videos with, you know, uh, guns and money being flashed and chains and, you know, women with barely got clothes on, people rubbing on their vaginas and, you know, their genital areas, perversion which arouses people, which is putting that stuff in your mind. You wonder why a lot of these young people are going crazy. You wonder why a lot of these young people are acting up. Because of the stuff that's going in their spirit, the video games, the eye gates, what you're looking at. Some of these sitcoms that people are watching, they're talking about adultery. They're talking about things that don't line up with the word of God. Why would you be excited about a sitcom or a channel that you watch on a weekly basis that promotes cheating and fornication and adultery and lesbianism and homosexuality? Why would that be interesting to you and you are a believer? You are a Christian. You have to be careful what is going in your ear gates, what is going in your eye gates. The music you listen to, certain movies that you watch, The Exorcist, you're watching movies with uh, when they're calling up the dead and they're using Ouija boards. That, that's not of God. You are opening a door to the spirit of fear. You are opening a door for demonic powers and principalities to come and run havoc in your life. I wanted to do this video to let you know to be mindful, be careful what is going in your ear gates, what, what is going in your eye gates, what you are listening to, because once it enters your ear gates and your eye gates, it gets down in your spirit, man. It's in your spirit. You begin to act these things out. You begin to see manifestations of demonic powers in your life. Be careful what you put in your ear gates and your eye gates. Amen.